Look all around, tell me what you see. Round all around, look all around, tell me what you see. Now one, two, three, I see a yellow sun. Welcome to the Kids Core Clubhouse. Lately, I have been exploring God's wonderful world and I have so many amazing things to share with you. Look at this tool. It helps me to explore. Do you know what it's for? They're called binoculars and they help me see things close up. I have found some beautiful and amazing things while exploring, like this flower called a pansy. This month, we are learning all about who made everything in the world. Do you know who made grass and trees? What about birds or fish? Hmm. What about you? Do you know who made you? God! God made everything, and everything that he made is good. This month, our Bible words teach us that God saw everything that he made, and it was very good. We learn that in Genesis 1:31. Will you say it with me and do the actions? God saw everything that he made and it was very good. Genesis 1:31. I can't wait to take you on a scavenger hunt to explore this wonderful world and many of the things that God made. Let's see what the Bible has to say about God's amazing world. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I'm trying to get all these letters delivered so I can go to the aquarium with my friends. An aquarium is a place that has huge tanks of water with all kinds of fish in them. Raise your hand if you'd like to look at fish. They're so awesome. Did you know that God made all the fish in the whole wide world? It's true. And God made all the birds too. God made everything. Here, let me show you. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay. So we know that on day one, God made light and dark. 
On day two, God made sky over water. On day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. On day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. So, when did God make the fish and birds? Drum roll, please. God made fish and birds on day five. On day five, God made everything that swims in the sea. Fish and giant whales and jellyfish and octopus and clownfish. Can you show me how you swim like a fish? <laughs> Great job. You look just like fish swimming in the sea. Then God made birds, eagles and bluebirds and sparrows and parrots and flamingos. God made birds to fly above the land. Birds are amazing with their wonderful colors and shapes and wings, all different, but all so special. Can you pretend to fly like a bird? Wow, what beautiful birds you are. God made the fish and the birds on day five. When God saw what he had made, God said, that's good. Everyone say that's good with me. That's good. Okay, so let's remember all the things God made that we know so far. On day one, God made light and dark. On day two, God made sky over water. On day three, God made land, plants, and sea. On day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. On day five, God made fish and birds. Do you think we can do that faster? Let's all say the things God made. Ready? Go. Day one, light and dark. Day two, sky over water. Day three, land, plants, and sea. Day four, sun, moon, and stars. Day five, fish and birds. <sighs> Great job. But God wasn't finished yet because God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. Wow! God made every single bird that flies in the sky and all the fish that swim in the water. God made everything. Can you flap your wings like a bird? Good job! Now, can you pretend to swim like a fish? Awesome job, friends! We are so lucky that we get to see the beautiful things God made. It's time for our Kids Court Challenge. This week's challenge is to go outside and listen. Can you sit quietly and show me your listening ears? What are some things that you might hear when you go outside? Maybe the wind or some birds chirping? Be sure to thank God for what you hear. Maybe you can even share what you are thankful for with someone. Before we head out to listen to God's amazing creation, let's say a prayer and thank God. Will you close your eyes and bow your head with me? Dear God, thank you for helping us learn that you made everything and that everything you made is good. Thank you for making birds and fish. We love you very much, God. Amen. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now I'm headed out to see what I can hear in God's amazing world. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep you. Make his face to shine. Make his face to shine. Shine upon you. Shine upon you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep you. Make his face to shine. Make his face to shine. Shine upon you. 
May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep you. Make His face to shine. Make His face to shine. Shine upon you. Shine upon you. May the Lord bless you. Space to shine, make a space to shine, shine upon you, shine upon you. May the Lord bless you.